My name is Robert Doherty. I'm the executive chef at the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Cambridge and Zephyr on the Charles. And I'm going to make German Spetzel. Uh, we're going to start off with taking uh, four whole eggs. Uh, you might want to crack them in a cup first to prevent any shells from getting in. Uh, we're going to take six ounces of whole milk. Add this in. Uh, a touch of uh, sea salt. Some fresh ground black pepper. And I'm going to take a little fresh nutmeg and grate it on a microplane and put all the seasonings in. And then with a soft wire whisk, we're going to whip up the eggs and incorporate this, blending all the spices together and slightly aerating the mixture. And then we're going to incorporate by hand all-purpose flour, 12 ounces. And uh, if you want to use a glove, uh, that's what I would recommend. It's easy this way, using a glove. And we're going to add the flour. And we're going to add half first and mix it in. And this is good exercise, so uh, get it going and get out all the lumps. And what we're going to do is we're going to work it until we uh, develop some nice air bubbles. Okay, so we add the other half of the flour. And now we're going to vigorously work it to develop the uh, gluten. Okay. And if you'd like to use a mixing machine, you could. Uh, but in the old days, the Germans, you know, they like you to work by hand and exercise very good. And this time, once it's all mixed and vigorously, you can start seeing some of the air bubbles popping up and we're going to let it rest for 10 minutes. Okay, now it's been 10 minutes and if you can see the bubbles are starting to format. Uh, what has happened is the gluten is developed and the dough has rested. So now we're ready to make our spetzel. Uh, I'm going to show you the old-fashioned way of doing it with a spetzel board and spatula. You could take a colander at home and put some of the noodle dough in the colander and over the boiling water and work it through it, that would make droplets. Also in all the gourmet stores they sell uh, spetzel machines which is a rail and with little holes and it would create uh, kind of like pellet size, droplet size noodles. Uh, but this style makes a really nice, nice long noodle. And what you're going to do is take a nice uh, spoon of the, of the dough on your board and then uh, Dip your knife in water, and in your water you want to have uh, salt in there. You want your water to be as, as salty as the sea, okay? It takes a really nice, nice flavor when you cook the noodle. What you do is you're going to thin a spread a nice, thin layer of this uh, spetzel dough here, okay? Then wet your knife, and then you're going to cut it in and making nice noodles, okay? And if you can kind of hold your knife up a little bit and let the, uh, the dough drop off, it creates nice long noodles. And then we're going to take a little more of this batter, spread it out, and do it, keep doing it. And we'll do this whole batch here. And when it boils and they'll start to float on the top, that's when they'll be ready. So we're just about finished here. Put this away. Taking that. And as you can see, we have some beautiful spetzel noodles nice and long and uh, very nice. Uh, we're going to put them in the ice water and let them cool and we're going to continue until we have a nice batch of noodles. Okay, now we're going to remove the noodles from the ice water and uh, drain them on uh, absorbent paper. You want to get all the water off um, so they're nice and dry before you saute them. Um, we're going to heat up a nice saute pan going to add some whole butter. Uh, whole butter is really nice because it has uh, the milk solids and all the flavors in there. And uh, we're going to let that brown up a little bit. It's going to create a nice nutty brown flavor. And then we're going to add the noodles. See the browning around the corners here? And then we're going to add the noodles. And uh, stir them around and heat them nice and thoroughly through. One of the differences between the uh, 
German style spetzel and the Swiss style spetzel between using milk and uh, mineral water is the, the Swiss style is a little more lighty and a little bit more of an airy noodle. Um, but the German style is more uh, full flavored with the dairy product. So as we move this around, we want to shake it. And it's really important that you get your pan nice and warm and hot. As you notice, the noodles aren't sticking. Um, if your pan was cold, uh, the noodles will stick and you'll have a little bit of a mess on your hands. So you start to brown them just a little bit. And then now we're going to add our Italian flat leaf parsley. I really love uh, flat leaf parsley compared to curly parsley uh, because it's much more flavor. Um, so we add the parsley. I'm going to shake this around a little more. Okay. And we're just about heated all the way through. And we're going to finish with a little seasoning, a little bit of fresh ground pepper, and just a touch of uh, kosher salt. And we're going to plate it here on a nice plate. Now the spetzel can be accompanied with many uh, holiday roasts or um, different things during the holidays. There we go. So here you go, it's a beautiful uh, German spetzel. Enjoy.